Hi, boys and girls. How are you? Well, you've watched the video and listened to the video about the wood carver, and you have looked at the slideshow and you learned a little bit about folk art. And now it's time to practice drawing your owls. Um, if you do the roll and draw, if you don't have dice, that's okay. You can just choose the one you like best. And I like these because it really forces me to try new things. So um, I got a one for the head. It looks like a heart, kind of. And then here's the body. And this is just practice. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to work it out and see which one I might like best. And my eyes are a number five. Oh, I like that. Little flower, little flower. And then the beak kind of an oval with the oval inside eh, looks okay and then it's time for the pattern and then the pattern I got a number two and the two are like U's. and I'm just gonna fill the belly with that a little bit you can add a pattern to the wings if you like of course and then for the um, feet I rolled a six so there's my little owl now I'm gonna look at the how-to drawings and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try a couple of those so here's number one, step number one, and now I'm on step number two, and step number three is the eyes, and then comes the beak, cute beak, I like that beak, and then the funny cute little wings, oh I'm really liking this one, this one's easy to draw, I'm enjoying it, and the belly, oh and look at that, oh I like that, that's cute, and then these cute little feet, little chicken feet. Oh, I like that a lot. And then this one has patterns in the wings and not the belly. Now, you know, you can always give it your own flair as well. Of course, you know that, right? I want you to try at least two of these. And so I think I'm gonna try that top one. I like to, sometimes when I do these, I like to start with the eyes first, but you know, everybody's different. You have to learn how to make how-to drawings work for you. And once I learned that, you know, you might skip a step, but of course these things are, you know, your choices to make, of course. And this one's looking off to the side. That's pretty cute. Little beak, little feet, little triangle up here. Color that in a little bit. And then it's got a pattern on the belly of like U's or rows of threes. Okay, that looks pretty cute. Now I think that I am ready to start on my final one. So I'm gonna get a new clean piece of paper. I'm gonna do a little bit of a combo. And so I want to always start with my line of symmetry, and that's a very, very light line because you know that owls' bodies, just like our faces, are symmetrical. And so I'm starting with the head, make that up a little bit, and then I'm going to do the body, nice, and then the wings, good. Then I'm going to work on the eyes. And remember, you always want to make an owl's eyes really big because they're nocturnal. That looks nice. I'm happy with that. Oh, the beak is cute. Nice. Oh, I like it a lot. And then here I'm just going to add some U's. Take your time. Have fun with this. And then I'm going to do V's here. And fill the whole area with V's. And this one should be bigger than your practice one. And try doing a couple, it's really fun. Nice, and then I'm gonna do talons like this. I'm gonna do three. And then I can add way more details if I want to. Maybe go like this. Oh, that looks cute. I think I really like it. So now you're done with lesson number one and please save your drawing for lesson number two. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.